Hello, lovely learners. I'm Emma, your host, and welcome to another episode of Tales for English Fluency. This is the channel where you can improve your English skills by listening to engaging and informative podcasts. We are here to help you learn English in a fun and effective way. And I'm Ava, your co-host and Emma's friend. We are both intermediate English learners, and we love to share our stories and experiences with you. We are also here to motivate you and inspire you to achieve your English goals. In today's episode, we are going to talk about hobbies and interests. Hobbies and interests are activities that you do for pleasure or relaxation, usually in your spare time. They can also be things that you are curious or passionate about and that you want to learn more about or practice. We will discuss different hobbies and interests that we have or want to have and why we like them or want to try them. We will also tell you some of the benefits and challenges of having hobbies and interests and how they can enrich your life and your English learning. We will also introduce some new words and phrases that you can learn and practice. These words and phrases are related to the topic of hobbies and interests, and they will help you to expand your vocabulary and express yourself better. So let's get started. Emma, what are some of your hobbies and interests? Well, Ava, I have many hobbies and interests, but one of my favorite ones is gardening. Gardening is the activity of growing and taking care of plants, flowers, and vegetables in a garden or a plot of land. I love to garden in my backyard, where I have a small but beautiful garden. I admire that, Emma. Gardening is a very rewarding hobby. What kind of plants and flowers do you grow in your garden? I grow different kinds of plants and flowers, but I especially like roses and sunflowers. Roses are a type of flowering plant that belong to the genus Rosa. They have a lovely fragrance and a variety of colors, such as red, pink, white, yellow, and orange. Sunflowers are a type of flowering plant that belong to the genus Helianthus. They have a sunny appearance and a positive energy. They usually have yellow petals and a brown center, but they can also have other colors, such as orange, red, and purple. I agree. Roses and sunflowers are beautiful flowers. I like them too. Do you have a favorite color or variety of roses and sunflowers? That's a hard question, Ava. There are so many colors and varieties of roses and sunflowers that I like. But if I had to choose one, I would say yellow roses. I think yellow roses are symbolic of friendship and happiness. They always make me smile. I have a yellow rose bush in my garden, and I often cut some roses and put them in a vase in my living room. They brighten up the space and create a cozy atmosphere. I can see why you love yellow roses so much, Emma. They are indeed very lovely. I have seen them in your living room, and they always catch my eye. I think my favorite flower is lavender. Lavender is a type of flowering plant that belongs to the genus Lavandula. It has a delicate and fragrant flower that is usually purple, but can also be pink, white, or blue. It has a soothing and calming effect. I like to use lavender oil in my diffuser or in my bath. It helps me to relax and sleep better. I appreciate that, Ava. Lavender is a very soothing flower. I like it too. I sometimes use lavender tea or candles to relax and unwind. It also helps me to reduce stress and anxiety. Well, Emma, enough about gardening. What about you? What are some of your other hobbies and interests? Well, Ava, another hobby and interest that I have is reading. Reading is the activity of looking at and understanding written or printed words, usually in books, magazines, newspapers, or online. I love to read books, especially novels and stories. Reading helps me to relax, to learn new things, to improve my imagination and vocabulary, and to escape from reality for a while. I respect that, Emma. Reading is a wonderful hobby. What kind of books do you like to read? I like to read different kinds of books, but I especially enjoy fantasy and science fiction. Fantasy is a genre of literature that features magical or supernatural elements, often in imaginary worlds. 
Science fiction is a genre of literature that deals with imaginative or futuristic concepts, such as advanced science, technology, space exploration, or time travel. I like to read about magical worlds, futuristic technologies, and adventurous characters. Some of my favorite authors are J.K.R. Owling, George R. R. Martin, and Isaac Asimov. Wow, those are some great authors. I have read some of their books too, and I really like them. Do you have a favorite book or series by them? That's a tough question, Ava. There are so many books and series by them that I love, but if I had to choose one, I would say Harry Potter. I think Harry Potter is a masterpiece of literature. It is a series of seven fantasy novels that tell the story of a young wizard, Harry Potter, and his friends, Hermione Granger and Ron Weasley, as they attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry and fight against the evil Lord Voldemort. It has everything, a captivating plot, a rich setting, a diverse cast of characters, and a powerful message. I have read all the books several times, and I never get tired of them. I can see why you love Harry Potter so much, Emma. It is indeed a fantastic series. I have read it too, and I also enjoyed it a lot. I think my favorite character is Hermione. She is smart, brave, and loyal. She's a great friend and a role model. She reminds me of you, Emma. Oh, thank you, Ava. That's very sweet of you. You are very kind, Emma. You remind me of Ron. He is funny, friendly, and supportive. He is a great friend and a partner. He always makes me laugh. Thank you, Emma. That's very nice of you. You are very funny, Emma. You make me laugh, too. Well, Ava, enough about Harry Potter. Let's move on to another hobby and interest that we both share. Can you guess what it is? Ooh, let me think. Is it cooking? Yes, it is cooking. Cooking is the activity of preparing and making food, usually by combining, heating, or baking ingredients. We both love to cook and try new recipes. Cooking helps us to express our creativity, to nourish our bodies, and to share our culture and love with others. I agree. Cooking is a great hobby and interest. What kind of food do you like to cook? I like to cook different kinds of food, but I especially enjoy Bangladeshi cuisine. Bangladeshi cuisine is the culinary tradition of Bangladesh, a country in South Asia. It is influenced by the cuisines of neighboring India, Pakistan, Nepal, and Myanmar, as well as by the Islamic, Hindu, and Buddhist cultures. Bangladeshi food is spicy, flavorful, and satisfying. It usually consists of rice, bread, meat, fish, vegetables, lentils, and sweets. I respect that, Emma. Bangladeshi cuisine is very delicious and diverse. I have tasted some of your dishes, and I really like them. Do you have a favorite dish or recipe from Bangladeshi cuisine? That's a difficult question, Ava. There are so many dishes and recipes from Bangladeshi cuisine that I love. But if I had to choose one, I would say chicken biryani. Chicken biryani is a dish of rice, chicken, spices, and herbs, cooked together in a large pot. It is rich, aromatic, and tasty. It is usually served with yogurt, salad, and pickles. I make chicken biryani for special occasions, such as aid, birthdays, and anniversaries. I can see why you love chicken biryani so much, Emma. It is indeed a wonderful dish. I have tried it too, and I also enjoyed it a lot. I think my favorite part is the crispy fried onions on top. They add a nice crunch and flavor to the dish. Thank you, Ava. That's very kind of you. You are very generous, Emma. You always compliment my cooking. Thank you, Emma. That's very nice of you. You are very talented, Emma. You always impress me with your cooking. Well, Ava, enough about cooking. Let's wrap up this podcast. We have talked about some of our hobbies and interests, such as gardening, reading, and cooking. 
We have also learned some new words and phrases, such as relax, to become calm and less tense or anxious. Genre, a category of artistic composition, such as literature or music, characterized by similarities in form, style, or subject matter. Masterpiece, a work of outstanding artistry, skill, or workmanship. Bounty, a plentiful or generous amount of something. Symbolic, representing something else by association, resemblance, or convention. Diffuser, a device that disperses a liquid such as an essential oil into the air as a fine spray or mist. Unwind, to relax after a period of work or tension. Nourish, to provide with food or other substances necessary for growth, health, and good condition. Aromatic, having a pleasant and distinctive smell. Crispy, having a hard, dry, and brittle surface or texture. Emma, we hope you enjoyed this podcast and learned something new. We also hope you got inspired to pursue your own hobbies and interests, or to try something new. Hobbies and interests are not only fun and relaxing, but they can also help you to improve your English skills in many ways. They can expose you to new words and phrases. They can stimulate your imagination and creativity, and they can give you opportunities to communicate and connect with other people who share your passions. Thank you for listening to this episode of Tales for English Fluency. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join our community of English learners. We promise you that you will have a lot of fun and learning with us. We upload a new episode every day, so you will never run out of things to learn with us. And don't forget to like, comment, and share this podcast with your friends and family. We would love to hear from you and get your feedback and suggestions. You can also ask us any questions or doubts that you have about the topic or the vocabulary that we used. We will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this podcast. We hope you enjoyed it and got interested in our topic. We look forward to seeing you in our next episode. Until then, have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Bye for now. Bye, everyone.